Hello everyone and welcome to an Easter Sunday special or it could be Easter Monday, depends when this video comes out, probably the day after or maybe the day after that, I don't know which what day. But it's currently Easter Sunday and I'm out at a local car meet, my usual place, um, hosted at the same venue in Starbridge. And people ask me, why do you keep going to the same venue? Uh, it's, it's literally half an hour away from my house. Um, and it is fast becoming one of the best car meets in the Midlands. People are travelling hours to get here ridiculously. And um, I'm not surprised because anything goes and you don't know what's going to turn up. And once again, I've just had a little scour around. Um, yes, we've got some completely different cars that I've never seen before. So we'll whip the camera around and show you all the cars you need to see, especially the interesting ones. I'm going to try and concentrate on the interesting cars on this channel. Remember, it's Fords and Rovers, maybe a few things in between, but mainly that. Um, but particularly British cars, and I've just seen an, some absolute peaches turn up. Um, it seems to be that um, it's not quite as busy at this usual time. Usually when I park up quite early on, there's already half a dozen cars here and it's they're all running in literally running in but i think people forgot to wind the clock forwards ah anyway let's go and have a look around all right as you can see here we've got a ridiculous amount of cars uh not a ridiculous amount but you know we've got all this space here that people are still sort of drip feeding in i think people have just woken up this morning but uh if we uh, drudge over here and uh, well, that's a lovely start. How sweet is that? Lovely start with that Chevette. Um, so I'm going to go all the way to the front. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen one of these, honest to God. Right, okay, so I'm going to start off with this MGB chrome wire wheels and, uh, well, the mo probably the most beautiful colour you can get on one of these anyway. On a K-Reg, so 72. Um, so it's had a few things. It's had some piping on the seats and a monolite steering wheel. Some, uh, what looks like carbon fibre effect in there. See, the people are starting to roll in some modern cars as well. But... Uh, I mean, look at that. You're, you're sitting in that seat, looking at those bulges on the wings. Beautiful. And right beside, we've got a Hillman Minx. So we've got it on a, an F registration. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Ah, oh, look at the, look at the filler cap that literally goes straight into the fuel tank in the boot area, I presume. This wears its age quite nice. It's got white walls. Mmm. It wears its age really nicely. Well, Mazda MX-5. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got this uh, coil-over spark plug arrangement. I've not had a car with coil-over spark yet. I've not had a car young enough, but... Uh, that looks like some serious, nice breathing. A four-in-one branch manifold breathes much nicer. It scavenges the gases really nicely. Uh, that's some nice recovers. I do, I do like the styling of these. I like the steering wheel. I like, I like the interior. It's, it's definitely got like a suede sort of material to the seats and to that part of the dashboard. Um, it's the road. Obviously, it's a roadster version. Sky Active Technology. No idea. Possibly. A, well, is it a hybrid? Not sure. Not sure. But this has taken my attention. An Fredge. Um, Fredge Vauxhall Nova. It's completely stuck. It hasn't been messed with at all. The correct wheel trims and it's absolutely immaculate. This thing. Fuel filler cap right at the backside. It's a 1.2L, registered at Drake and Fletcher in Maidstone. This is gorgeous. That is absolutely sumptuous. It hasn't been messed with whatsoever. And uh, his name is Clover. Clover, fantastic. The original owner was uh, fastidious. 
uh, kept all the paperwork and everything and had it serviced on the dot. That's a usual story. Beautiful example. Uh, Porsches, Smart Roadster, another one <coughs> with a stripe. Uh, Mercedes P Reg. Oh, is this an is this an SLK two hundred? Possibly, I think it is. Yes, it is. Compressor SLK two hundred compressor. It's an interesting place to put the uh, high level brake light. I'm surprised they actually bothered with it. So some sort of carbon fibre effect, fake fakeness to the the dash. Um, but next to this beautiful Scirocco. Um, Yes, on an E-Reg, so 88 probably. Uh, lovely go faster stripe there. This is one of the nicest Volkswagens you could buy from the time. Lovely cladding, lovely nice and done. Boot spoiling, everything. This is, yeah, it's a nice, high quality plastic. The interior is so well put together on this. That's actually, this is completely original by the look of it. Wonderful car. Another smart roadster. Beautiful, beautiful mice miner. That is gorgeous. 205. Oh, uh, GTI, I presume. Oh, it's no, it's XS. I was going to say GTI, XS. Um, right, David, can you tell me what this is? XS. Was that one under the GTI? Not sure, but it looks. Uh, Oh, it looks in incredible condition. Another Porsche. VW Golf Mark I. Or as the rabbit in America. He's definitely a rabbit, this one, in this kind of colour. Oh, it's got all the patina to match. It's been debadged. But uh, on an X plate, very early. Oh, TVR. Yes. You cream, <laughs> cream interior to match. Nice rug mat at the back. As if you could, as if anything could exist at the back. Um, oh, it was uh, registered in Surrey. Mm. Lovely bulges again. Oh, MR2. Brilliant. On a G reg. These used to be so cheap a few years ago, and now everybody wants one. Dealing with rust, you think Fords can rust? <laughs> Toyota's like, hold out my beer. Mazda MX-5, Ford Capri. Uh, on an L registration, and it looks pretty flat actually, quite patinaed, especially the bonnet. Looks really nice. Part of the Black Country Classic Car Club. The vinyl roof is in superb condition. I know the problems you can have when these start to lift, believe you me. Um, it's a very, very honest example. It looks like it's the original paintwork on this. You can tell it's a mile off. And um, I, I prefer it that way. Um, with uh, spotted Lucas's at the front. Oh, ho, ho. next to this beauty. Ooh, registered at Whites of Taunton, which is a main dealer. He's had uh, some serious uh, work, this escort. Uh, can't see the name of these. Sure, actually. Um, but um, full Cosworth lump. Okay, that's come straight out of a Sierra, presumably. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Maybe it was an Escort Cosworth engine. If somebody could let me know, that'll be great. But it's installed really neatly. Oh, goodness me. We've got a mini club and that's been converted. Well, was it is a pickup. Uh, that's been... Uh, every uh, 
resprayed and it's had ah it's had bits of other interiors by the look of it that looks like a mini paul smith dashboard that does that's been fitted um very nice indeed and uh oh 1993 with an earlier front grill that confused me then i saw the grill i thought oh okay i do like the retrofitting of earlier grills it's such a lovely look um this is be this is for sale seven and a half grand fully rebuilt parts throughout that's steep money for an, a light money that's it if i like many that is very steep especially one that isn't original i think that's where the money is with these but i could be wrong with that uh, every, uh, these are very early uh rear lights again not sure how you get away with the oh you don't need reverse actually on these to be fair um mini flame red this is again being tastefully done in a sort of a red interior really nice on a h-reg <laughs> when was the last time you saw one of these p100 <laughs> With a can of GT85 in, I so approve of that one. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. There was a local one near me years ago, and they, they were very, very much used and abused. Uh, next to another mini clubman here, in uh, sort of blue with a nice stripe going along here uh, the interior has been completely redone uh, but it, because it's a travel it's, it's still bodied obviously they got rid of the woodies early enough club in the states were always steel as far as i was aware um very nice indeed oh goodness me enridge now 420 tour presumably it's a 420 tour uh yes it would be with that sort of interior 420 that's been tweaked a little bit oh now this mini looks like it's in a various stages of rust killing priming i know this stage very well it takes a lot of doing although i would definitely say things need to be removed for it to be done properly uh well fully i should say not properly but it does look like the owner is trying to well it's either the rat look or it's a, a deliberate uh attempt d so 1986 so you know 80s mini it's been uh, messed about with and uh yeah i'm sure the owner really likes it nice car right i'm gonna pass beatrix uh, i just gave her a wash yesterday um let's pick up f-150 very bulbous and very impre very big presence um, oh, yes, okay. Next to this lovely Focus ST. I presume it's an ST. Mm. Very grown up, very grown up colour. Oh, next to an RS with uh, the five cylinder. Volvo engine. Apparently, the engines in the Ford versions are—they have a few issues. Apparently, there's something that Ford did to that Volvo engine, which made it less reliable. Because there are no such issues in Volvo applications, but Ford engines definitely have a few issues with this engine. No, I don't know what. I don't know why. I don't know what Ford did, but apparently they're not as reliable in Ford's these Volvo engines just something that i was told not not far recently actually oh morgan plus four yeah morgan plus four look there we go that's that's quite a nice touch actually uh so that's uh it's come a long way as well um ld with corever plug that's quite nice to see actually very rarely do people open the bonnets of these cars uh mitsubishi lancer that came in evolution that came in as well. <laughs> That's why I was confused. Renault 4C. Over 1.1 million were made and produced between 1946 and 1960. 14 years of production, 1.1 million. That's pretty impressive for back in the day. That's really impressive. 
lot of access there everything seems reasonable the battery seems a bit of a pain to take out you've got to take the coil to take the battery out and dizzy alternator right at the back in fact what it is they've turned the engine backwards the problem is with this system is that the radiator is there you want the radiator you see what I mean? Yeah, cooling is a bit, of, <laughs> a little bit affected by the way <clears throat> it is. But the idea is that you get some airflow coming round the back. Presumably, there's some sort of air ducting to push some air through the radiator. I don't know, but there be a, there has to be a way of getting cold air to the radiator. Very French. <laughs> One, Fiesta 1.1 out. I think we've seen this before. Um, really, really original. Gla etching on the glass. I'll just show you that. Just a little bit of etching there. Beautiful. Original wheels as well. On a W registration. Beautiful. Mm, these are getting desirable now. I've noticed the price of these going up. Now, part right next to Beatrix when I came in is this Triumph 2500S. Now, this is not injection, this is carbs. And I presume it's just a trim thing. So they must have added a few bits and pieces. I noticed the aftermarket S on the... Uh, that, that's, that's a really, really nice touch. That must be an American thing. I, I've never seen that before. But uh, I just love the wood and the interior. It's just so plush and sumptuous. The seats are so comfortable in these. I have sat in one of these before. Now, you might think that this is a GT40. It's not an actual GT40. It's an actual GT40 replica. Um, I had to just look at this information sheet at the back and it was a one-off copy originally registered in 1989. It's not a kit car, not a kit car, but it is a very, very good replica. Um, it, it, a replica meaning it is in fact the real thing, it's just not an official one. So uh, I like that. GT40 is... Goodness me. Uh, another Morgan plus four. Ooh. S3, Audi. V registration. Ooh. I think these might be getting their niche as well. Uh, Ford Mustang 5 litres at the V8 version. Best one. Uh, it is up for sale for offers. Lotus Esprit. Uh, series 3. Yeah, Esprit 3 are uh, written on the back side. I do like how the clusters, so they're not flush. They stick out in this box uh, design. Mm. Nice indeed. Ooh. Mini. Which has had some significant work done to it at the front electric fan usual side on and a Vauxhall engine to note with a side on gearbox that's a lot of a uh, lot of changes there with uh, Persplex and mm, interesting see we don't normally get these but um we've got a Lambo I don't know about you guys Nah, doesn't do it for me. But still, beautiful car as it is. Hmm, this one is up for sale as well for 5,750. So it's a 2.8 uh, Z3. Hmm, seen this BMW before with lots of spares, <laughs> lots of spares. Chevette that we saw coming in, yeah, for example. Another Morgan plus four. Oh, we have an MGF. Wow, a TF, I should say. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll just leave my card because MG Rover products. Yep. It's gorgeous deep color. Although, 
the all black interior doesn't quite have the same same ring to it for me they definitely made them look a bit more modern towards the end ah lovely we've got oh we've got an f now this is this, this looks better this is a contrast silver silver white dials two-tone seats sort of suede and half leather seats yes that's um that's got a lot more going forward do you see the difference there um yeah definitely i believe i've left this card on that car several times the owner's like oh you've left my card tf you see you go to this one and oh no 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 we've got some we've got some contrasting um silver and black and chrome finishes are everywhere no it's it's that's much better spoiler as well uh yeah without the spoiler uh, with the spoiler yes i'm confused actually correction there it's a tf i didn't um, pay attention uh, excuse me but anyway we're going to come to the end and i think this is the car of the day so far a mini clubman in this lovely mustard color i know, I know the, the correct code for it i just haven't got the uh, the name but oh this came in and i thought yeah this is identical to a car strangely i almost bought as my first car yes i was going to buy a mini clubman on an m -Ridge as my first car and uh, this is identical i think i'd have been absolutely mad but at the same time i think the steering wheels on the mini clubman's the free spoke with the metal insert in the middle with clubman written on it so stylish such a good design i think it's the best steering wheel on a mini it just looks right um just boo, straight away xf ah mm, very nice indeed Porsche. I, I haven't got uh, excuse me excuse me excuse me oh this is a Unos yes it is a Unos mm. yeah that interior takes getting used to I think the, the, the sort of plasticness of the the inside is uh, mm. yeah not for me but anyway oh yes definitely yes 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 <laughs> Morris Oxford now is this a mark five or six I think it might be a six actually judging by the rear oh it's an automatic as well so it's probably a few a three on a tree or four on the three on the tree or three on the floor uh, in this one it's three on the tree it's on the stalk how rare is that the automatic version Borg Warner free speed wow that's having some work done to it Ooh. Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. We've seen this Volvo before. Really nice barge in this lovely purpley colour. MG Midget showing its age very nicely. Oh, camper on an F Reg with all the delightful 1970s interior that you could possibly imagine. <laughs> it's, it's really good. 3 litre Capri gear with a vinyl roof part of the Capri Club and these lovely sort of headrests that are built into the seat very joined up uh, very joined up thinking beautiful oh mark four mark uh, mark five Cortina, i should say I've said, I think I've seen this before, just once before. Uh, lovely wear on the badge and very, very original. 1.6L, not a W reg. Okay, interesting. A 1.6 Pinto. They go all right, Pintos. They're not, they're, they're not bad engines, Pintos. People preferred them to the CVH that theoretically replaced it when it shouldn't have replaced it. Oh my God, another, another Mini Clubman today with this, that's interesting, arrangement. Oh my goodness me, and someone's put a K-Series under the bonnet. Not just any K-Series, we've got a VVC system going on. Well, looks part of it anyway. They've actually stuffed a K-Series straight in there. Goodness me, that's tight. 
This is fascinating. So the rad so the little radiators on the side here. It really debunks the theory that they could have actually fitted a K series to keep the Mini going, but they never did. Um, I think they realised that they came up with a few ideas, including making the Mini about that much wider by adding a piece of metal in the middle. But that would have added so many costs. It's untrue. Subaru Express R R R R W R X Beetle. Mm. Mm. Looks warm in there. Feels warm. It's quite a breezy day today. Uh, MG Midget oh, in this beautiful early colour. Uh, steely hubcaps. Uh, all the interiors being redone in the colour of the car really nicely. And it all really goes together very nicely indeed. I just love the little handle just to twist. And the fuel cap right there at the bottom. A lot of these cars will give you a bad back at the petrol station, I'll tell you. What, another one? Um, another mini club in the state. This one has got uh, the wood inserts. Yes, with chrome, with chrome sort of stainless steel strips running along it. What an interesting insert that is. Dainty little wind mirrors, and we've got the additional clip-on door mirrors. They just clip onto the the actual frame. This, this is. This is the thing about minis that I really don't like, the guttering. They never designed the guttering right. This is, if they could have devised a way of deleting that, it would look a lot better. Um, this vehicle still retains some original rust. Good. Lovely steering wheel. Gorgeous. Ah. And now we've got a mini miner. A very, very early one. Now, is this a real one? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Look at the seats. This has been to a lot of places. And uh, you've got that, just a single twaddle, twaddle switch to the, the heater controls. It's different steering wheel, but completely original. And uh, it's, it's, oh, it's had some straps fitted to it, which is interesting. And I bet that sounds quite leery when it's pressed. Uh, next to, this is hilarious. Honest to God, too big. W O oh, an M Ridge. Now is this a three series or five? I can't remember. It's a coupe, so it could be the three. Uh, yes, it's a three one eight IS. And uh, when was the last time you saw one of these? Um, registered at Saint, I believe. Yep. Uh, protected by a BMW engine immobiliser. Yes, an engine immobiliser that protects the, the car from the actual owner starting it up as well. No, I'm only joking. Um, I do like the uh, the alloys on the IS. I, I, I should have known that actually, because I, I pay particular attention to these coupes when they were quite cheap. Um, BMWs of the 90s certainly hit a niche for me, but only when they're in this condition and when they're not messed about with. It's a current theme of my channel. Um, and we're going to go to the final few cars that I've noticed. I'll come to the back row. Golf GTA. Mark 1 on a Y registration and this looks completely stock. Including the GTI stamped nicely on the four spoke steering wheel. Nothing has been messed about. Oh, I was going to say, no, no, no. I was going to say completely stock. Well, 90, 95% there. There you go. What a tidy example. Owner must absolutely love this. Sunbeam Alpine, which we've seen before. It was parked in a different place. I remember that being there. <gasps> Alfa Romeo, 1750. The way the, the roof just curves over. And then it kind of comes to a stop and then does a, a, a separate dip. Um, the wood in these Alphas is exquisite. A wood chrome. And metal is what the Italians used to combine very, very nicely. The trouble is with any space that you're in, it's a, <laughs> it's a GT 16 2 litre. Um, very, very nice indeed. 
Golf, no, uh, no, 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 no. Vauxhall VR, VR8. Not a massive person with these. We've seen this one as well. Felicia. Mark Seto, Mark 7 Fiesta. Uh, MG TF again, another TF with a roof rack. Uh, absolutely. I love these cars. A Peugeot 306 Cabriolet. And I almost, oh come on. Modern wheels, I don't know. These got um, good reviews back in the day. You know, Persia were kind of going down the route of uh, making really cheap and rubbish looking cars. But this was still decent, very decent car back in the day. And actually, it really does sell itself, the open top air of the car. Um, Morgan plus four, another Morgan plus four. Um, that's just delightful, isn't it? Look at the view you've got there. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Um, Stag, which we've seen before, and uh, I could hear it from an absolute mile away. People have got drones going on up there. And uh, got a Mondeo, MGB. This is a particular attention. Registered by Brooklyn Garages on an E-plate. Yes, this is completely stock, uh, and that's what you want to see, an XR2 carburettors. Um, this would have presumably had um, the same engine and configuration as a 1.6 uh, in the Mark III Fiesta, because the 1.6S carried over surplus stock of engines from XR2 Mark IIs. And that's what I, I think that's the reason why the Mark III was on, only had the 1.6S towards the start before the XR2i um, came out. Um, but yeah, <coughs> completely original. I'm not sure about the little holes in the steel rod. I don't know whether, what sort of gimmick that was. It wasn't for me something that caught on very well, but uh, yeah. Beautiful car. And the last car of the day, uh, is it a car? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a truck of a thing, isn't it? On a K plate, so 72, and it wears its age so nicely. A, a two door Range Rover. I mean, wow, wow. This is a really nice spot today. Probably one of the spots of the day. Um, yeah, this this is this is really nice. This has got an awful lot of attention because it just looks like it came off the farm uh, out of action, and it still works perfectly fine. If I just come round here, actually, um, split tailgate, beautiful, beautiful. <sighs> Even the filler cap has got a lock on it. <laughs> I just love the door catches. That's just such a good touch. It really is. Um, and the free spoke steering wheel up front with a couple of dials. Goodness me, this has worked and done its life, hasn't it? Um, but it's got plenty more years to give with that kind of patina. So, uh, oh, I love that. And I think that's where I'm going to leave you. Even the inside of my camera lens is getting condensation. Um, thank you very much for joining. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this day. I'm freezing cold and I need to start filming. And uh, I've got plenty of people to be catching up with who are coming to see me today. Anyway, you take care. I shall see you very, very soon in another episode.